Hello. Let's get started. Geronimo. Um, I like to think of myself as a creative person. Um, like that intro that I just did. That was pretty creative, right? Um, anyway, so thinking creatively and thinking in this wild imaginative mind of mine, I like to associate myself or think of myself as the PJ a lot because literally I can just free write or I can just start scribbling and I'll just create something different or something weird or something random and really like if I had the time and I had the um, non-procrastination-ness that I do have or the time that I should or could have I would make some really weird and random sketchy videos and also I have that social phobia thing where I'm kind of embarrassed or afraid to um, put ideas that I have in afraid of embarrassment or hate from other people but nevertheless I'm starting to get over that in a sense because I'm starting to you know tweet things that um, tweet things that I don't necessarily think I should but then just go ahead and just deal with the consequences afterwards because I'm always afraid like people will hate what I say over Twitter or they'll hate what I produce on YouTube so I kind of have that fear you know but um, I'm starting to get over that I'm starting to post just random videos that I don't that um, really I don't care about the consequence anymore like I'll just tweet random shit and I won't care what people think so, this brings me to the title of the video, Ronaldo, the Tormentor. Now, pre-calc today, we had um, a little bit of, like, nothing to do, basically. We had a little um, exercises to do in class, and I finished them pretty quickly. So, naturally, I had nothing to do. So, took a pencil, took a piece of paper, started scribbling, and created this work of art known as... Ronaldo the Tormentor. Literally, it's a duck. It's just a duck. I just drew the duck, and then I named him Ronaldo the Tormentor. Named, I just thought of the weirdest name possible, called it Ronaldo, then put the Tormentor, and then I just put like these like little notes in the corners and shit. So, it reads thusly. Ronaldo the Tormentor. He's come to avenge the Chicken of Bristol. Hitting your windshield, June 23rd, 2017. Starring Benedict Cumberbatch as Ronaldo and Arnold Schwarzenegger as Colonel Austria. Watch out if you're an Anglo-Saxon male who's white. Then there's like a little explosion. So basically I created Ronaldo the Tormentor, um, who's coming out June 23rd, 2017. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, and then after pre calc I had band, so I naturally showed it to my friend. And then it got passed around the entire band room. And I just saw, like, people just smiling and laughing as it went along. Like, as it was passed over, I could just see people laughing, like, ha <laughs> ha and then passing it, and then someone else laughing. So literally, I'm... This was really random, this is really weird. And I think I'll probably make videos later with Ronaldo the Tormentor, like, have, like, him as a villain or something in my newer videos that I have to fight. I think, um, because Kira, um, has a lot of the Adobe products, she probably, and correct me, Kira, if you don't, but she probably has Adobe Flash, which is, like, a program that you can, um, do cartoons with, and I'm pretty sure you can do cartoons and then put them into videos with yourself, which I think PJ does. A lot of my inspiration comes from Kick the PJ, if you didn't notice already, but, um, because I often like to think, like, like to think that I think like him, but, um, so I could, like, animate him into some of my videos and just have, like, an, a brawl with him or something. I like to create w weird, crazy characters, that's why I created Dave, and Dave is this ongoing cartoon show that I haven't, that I've written so many episodes for, but I haven't, like, actually had the time to, like, animate it and put it on, like, YouTube as a web series. But Dave, essentially, I think I'll explain Dave at some point, um, during this Vita time. But, essentially, I like to make weird, wacky characters. Like, I, I, at some point, um, 
my friend, uh, Scott, he, uh, who's in my pre-calc class. Pre-calc is basically my creative part, or my, my creative, creative, um, area where I just brainstorm and have the, these amazing ideas because pre-calc, I have nothing to do. So, um, Scott passed me this picture of this guy that he drew, and he said, his name is George. And I literally turned the, literally turned the page and wrote a giant bio on George. Like, I just writ, wrote everything about George, literally, like five or six lines. And now George is a character. I also have um, Papa John, who's this um, pizza maker, who Scott also draw, um, drew, actually. He just gave that to me, and I'm just like, Papa John. And I wrote a story about him. Papa John is, uh, he likes to make pizzas. He thought he was going to go into the pizza business, but now he's an undercover secret agent who um, crafts pizzas and then uses them as weapons. So he has, like, a bomb pizza and, like, a gun pizza, and he, like, uses the pizzas as, like, normal pizzas as, like, things to slice. So, like, he uses them as ninja stars and shit. So I have Papa John, and I have Ronaldo the Tormentor, and I also have George. So, I mean, I can go places with these. I'll just, I mean, pre-calc... He's always my creative period, so I'll probably have more things to talk to you about um, in the later days, in, as long as April goes on. So with that, I will see you tomorrow.